um, supersonic air travel. Oh, I think I know what you're going to say because I saw an advertisement for it at Newark Airport. Hey, Billy Goat of Comedy. Oh, thank you. Um, been catching up on the podcast since I discovered it a couple years ago, but this is my first time writing in. I heard the recent episode on nine thirteen twenty one where you briefly talked about supersonic flight. You mentioned that it was discontinued after the crash and hasn't been used again at a commercial level, uh, I thought. He goes, since you are a fan of aviation, I thought you might be interested to know that it's actually coming back soon. I don't know if you consider this soon. United Airlines, I saw this ad. I actually took a picture of it and sent it to Vinny Brand, who's eventually going to be on this podcast. Vinny Brand, the club owner of uh, the Stress Factory, um, we shared a common dream to fly the Concord to France or to London or whatever. And I took a picture of that and sent it to him when I saw it. United Airlines is going to be reintroducing supersonic flight in 2029. So that's eight years away. I will be 61 years old. Holy shit. Wow, man. 53 to 61. That's a quick, oh, that's a quick ride. Um, who gives a shit? I'm fucking enjoying myself. I, I, I don't care about uh, age anymore as far as like, that's a great thing about becoming, if you, if you, get older and you just embrace being older and just sort of let yourself become an old man. I'm not saying like, you know, give up. Um, and you understand that you have no control of aging, even though you always know that when you truly give into that, that you can't stop time, you know, so, but no one can stop you from enjoying it. So as long as you're enjoying it, you know, there's kind of like, I don't know. Like I, I picture laying on my deathbed as being peaceful and smiling and thinking about all the fun that I had. That's what I'm hoping. Um, that is the goal. Uh, anyway, huge fan of everything you do. Thank you so much for all of it. And congrats on your self-development. You're an inspiration to other knuckleheads. I am a knucklehead. I am a recovering meathead. That's exactly what I am. Uh, like myself who wants to live their best life. Basic white girl voice. I really want all you other meatheads out there to live your best life. You know, when white girls say living their best life, it means they're 100% focusing on themselves so they can live the best life possible regardless of who has to suffer. (laughs) Anyway, he says, but seriously, you and the podcast have been there for me through some rough times. I appreciate you. Thanks again and go fuck yourself. You know, that really means a lot to me that... uh, There's other people that are fucked up out there and that you get something out of this. Um, I I figure it's just the fact that you hear me trying. Um, All right, let's read about supersonic flight here. Oh, my God. United adding supersonic speeds with new agreement to buy aircraft from boom, supersonic. Well, what do they want for a supersonic jet? Maybe me and all the podcast listeners, we can all go in. We can all go in and buy a supersonic jet. Imagine the scheduling. It's booked for the next fucking 18 months. Chicago and Denver, June 3rd, 2029. 2021, sorry. United Airlines tonight. Oh, that's where it announced. I guess that's their hubs. Oh, would you look at that fucking... It looks like a dart. Oh, my God. Is that a sexy fucking plane? United will purchase 15 of Boom's Overture Airlines. What a great name. Once Overture meets United's demanding safety, operating, and sustainability requirements with an option for an additional 35 aircrafts, the companies will work together on meeting those requirements before delivery. Once operational, Overture is expected to be the first large commercial aircraft to be net zero carbon from day one. Uh, Can you buy stock in this company? Optimized to run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel, SAF, it is slated to roll out in 2025, fly in 2026, and expected to carry passengers by 2029. United and Boom will also work together to accelerate production of greater supplies of SAF, sustainable aviation fuel. Isn't that exciting? Where, where would this fly? You know, it's funny. This is, I'm going to keep doing stand-up until you can fly supersonic anyway, anywhere. 
<laughs> Just go to fucking Des Moines, Iowa. Right? Supersonic is like north of what speed? What is, what is, that's breaking the speed of sound, which we all know is 700, what, how many miles? Speed of sound supersonic. Uh, the speed of sound is 768 miles an hour. So just remember, 678, except you flip 7 and 6. 768. 768 miles an hour, which means you could get, you know, once you get up to that speed, you could fly across the country, I would think in about three hours as the crow flies, right? The Mach number is the ratio of the speed of the aircraft to the to speed of sound. Okay, let's learn about Mach. Let's, come on, people, let's do this. Mach speed explained. All right. By definition, Mach is, number is a ratio of the speed of a body, parentheses, aircraft to the speed of sound in the undisturbed medium through which the body is traveling. Undisturbed medium through which the body, how is it undisturbed? You know, there's the friction of the air it's flying through. All right. Is it, it is said that the aircraft is flying Mach 1 if the speed is equal to the speed of sound. Okay, so then is Mach 2 twice the speed of sound? Well, now they're saying speed of sound is 717 miles an hour.